The Hydac Varnish Elimination Unit, VEUFAU, is a unique and innovative system. It is primarily used for the conditioning and refurbishment of mineral oils where heat and operating conditions have damaged the oil, forming varnish which can contaminate the system. Because of the semi-soluble nature of varnish in oil, standard filtration procedures are normally insufficient to remove the varnish from the oil. Other removal processes are either slow and expensive or they require the system to be shut down before the oil can be treated. The VEU-FAU has the unique characteristic of being a fully online and on load treatment subsystem, allowing varnish removal and clean up of the oil whilst the system is operating. The VEU-FAU also returns the processed oil back to the tank with only an approximate 5 degrees Celsius drop in temperature, so that its use will not impact the existing system balance or operation mode as in there will be no system shock. Additionally, the VEU-FAU uses no complex chemicals or other mechanisms. Rather, it uses the renowned OLF dimicron filtration elements that are easily available nationally and internationally. We believe this to be the best, the fastest and the most easy to use system in the market today. The unit is available for temporary service or for permanent installation on a new system. In this video, we will show you the major subsystems and components, how to install and change the filter elements, and how to set up and operate the unit. The unit has the following components. Chiller unit, air blast cooler, two hex plate coolers, OLF filter housing, pre-filter housing, pump motor set, four lifting points, and a control panel, including a variable speed drive and PLC. Prior to starting the system, do the following. Remembering to always check the operating manual for more instructions and safety precautions. Position the unit in place and apply the wheel brakes. Connect the hoses to the inlet and outlet ports. It's important to only use the hoses that are supplied with the unit, as these are designed specifically for the application. Make sure that there is no obstruction in the front of, around or above the chiller or the air blast cooler. Check the chiller tank level and top up. The chiller tank should be filled with between 20 and 40% coolant, with the remaining volume being water. Hydac recommends Fuchs Maintain Fricofin XT as the coolant. Install the filter element in the OLF housing and the pre-filter housing. In order to install the filter element in the OLF housing, do the following. Isolate the inlet and outlet of the VEU from the oil supply. Undo the vent screw. It may be necessary to connect a drain hose to the ball valve before bleeding. Open the ball valve at the base and drain the oil. Close the ball valve once drained. Loosen the lower clamps. The housing may be split into two sections by loosening the upper clamp. This will reduce weight on each section. Lift up the housing cover. Remove the locking cap. Put the element into position. This is the same procedure as for changing the element. Replace the locking cap once the filters are installed. This will ensure that the oil is filtered. Replace the housing cover, clamps and tighten the vent screw. 
To change the pre-filter element, unscrew the filter bowl, fit the element, screw the filter bowl fully and tighten it to 40 Newton meters. After fitting the filter elements, plug the supply lead into a suitable, earthed and protected power outlet, ensuring that the voltage and frequency are both correct. Start the VEU by completing the following steps. Switch the power isolator to the on position. The PLC is set to 15 degrees Celsius as the default. If it is necessary, press the configuration button and enter the OLF inlet temperature set point from 15 to 24 degrees Celsius. For normal operation, it is not necessary to adjust the VSD or the PLC. Press the start button. The VEU will now enter a calibration phase to determine the correct operating flow rate to achieve the temperature set point. This will take two to three minutes. As the VEU operates, it will continue to monitor the inlet temperature of the OLF and adjust the flow rate accordingly. Make sure that you monitor the coolant level of the chiller and top it up if necessary. Vent the filter housing. In order to vent the housing, follow these steps. Slowly undo the air bleed screw. Bleed the filter housing through the air bleed screw until the operating fluid is seen. Tighten the air bleed screw. Note that if an alarm or trip message is present in the system operation panel, this will have to be reset before the system is ready to run. Here are some of the alarms or trips that you may encounter. E-stop slash fan trip. Emergency stop activation. Inlet pressure. A negative pressure is detected in the pressure line. This is a cavitation warning. OLF filter clog replace element. The OLF element is 100% clogged. Pre-filter clog replace element. The pre-filter element is 100% clogged. OLF overpressure. High pressure detected. Wrong phase DIR. The chiller motor is rotating in the wrong direction. In this case, a qualified electrician must verify the phase rotation of the supply power. To stop the unit, press the stop button and switch the power isolator to the off position. Thanks for watching this video. You can find more information on our website, www.hydac.com.au.